All right, to business news now. Mike Eppel taking a nice deserved vacation. We're joined by Chris McCusker over at 680. Good morning to you, Chris, and happy Hi. new year. Hi. Hi, Mel. How are you? Good. It's been a long time since we chatted. Hopefully you had a nice New Year's Eve. Yes, yes. Everything's <laughs> great. And, and you as well? Always. Yeah. It's always a party. Yeah. And by party, I mean bed very <laughs> early. Uh, yeah. Let's look ahead to the markets now. 2019, what's going on? Uh, well, we're sort of hoping for a new and a different sentiment, a better sentiment. Uh, 2018, not kind to markets in North America. We did see losses on both sides of the border. Um, and sort of some interesting stats. There were five days on the Dow when it traded in a thousand point range or more, and that has only happened eight times in history. Uh, in the early going, this year, there could be more rocky times ahead. Uh, as you just mentioned, Mel, that uh, discussion today on the U.S. government shutdown, uh, hopefully they can find some resolution. U.S.-China trade talk, still a massive issue. And then at the same time, um, there are questions with the uh, Democrats coming into the House that if they do find some sort of resolution, on the ongoing uh, government shutdown stateside, whether or not the president will sign it. Now, 2018, also not kind to the Canadian dollar. It was actually down by 7.7%, not only the worst performance since 2015, but also the first decline since 2015. Uh, our loonie hit its weakest level back in May. It's lost about five cents since the beginning of October. U.S. interest rates do have something to do with it, along with the fact that oil prices have tumbled 40% since October. And some pretty big crowds at the Canada Goose Store as it opened its doors in Beijing. This is the first store on mainland China. The opening delayed by about two weeks. That was according to officials with the company because of construction. And of course, there have been tensions between Canada and China ever since the arrest of that Huawei executive in Vancouver back in December. Roger. Hello, how are you, Chris? <laughs> I'm good. We were just chatting about a few other things there. I had my glasses on. Oh, yeah. I was feeling old, looking old. Did you have a good New Year's? Uh, I did, yes. It was quiet, but it was good. Very nice. Very what nice. about you? Same thing. Yeah? A little quiet. I, I actually sat and watched football yesterday. Nice. I haven't watched bowl games in forever. I sat and watched three bowl games. Well, that's what holidays are for, right? Exactly. Yes, yes. All right, we'll chat with you in a bit. Thanks very okay. much, Chris. Okay, have a good day.